In this section, we will see how to use Jinja2 templates within Ansible. Jinja2 is a templating language for dynamic data generation. This integrates seamlessly with Ansible. Jinja2 template allows variable assignments, conditional logic, loops, and filters. We will see all these options with some examples. And this enhances flexibility of dynamic configuration generation. We will see this with an example of generating Cisco iOS configuration. In this video, we'll see how to use template module. Template module allows you to render template with Ansible variables and store content to a destination file. In this example, we are giving source file that is going to be a Jinja2 template. And in the destination, we have to give the destination file. And from the source Jinja2 template, Ansible will render the content and generate a destination file. And below is one example of a Jinja2 template. Here we are generating hostname configuration and IP domain name configuration. For the hostname, we are using inventory hostname and applying a filter upper. And we are converting that inventory hostname into uppercase. And for IP domain name, we are using a variable called IP underscore domain. So let's start writing the code. I'll go to VS Code. Here I'll be using the host R2. First, I'll create a task for generating the configuration we'll call this generate conf and we'll be using the module template ansible dot built in dot template and i'll give source device underscore conf dot j2 within same directory i'll create a file device underscore conf dot j2 i'll add the command here hostname here we can use the variables from ansible i will use the magic variable inventory hostname save it i'll save the template and here i'll give destination device underscore conf dot txt we will store that within the demo files i'll put in the quotes it's not mandatory i'll give demo underscore files slash device underscore conf dot txt i'll run the playbook So now this has created a file and now this is R2 and if you want to see the inventory hostname I'll open the inventory directory I'm using this particular inventory and this device is under VIOS group now if you want to apply a filter I'll give upper Previously, we have seen how to use filters. Now, if you try running this, so it has converted the inventory hostname to uppercase. Now, here we will add even the IP domain name config. We'll call this IP domain. And here within the group wars, I have already created a variable file j2 demo wars so here ip domain name is demo.com now we'll try running this playbook so now this is generating the text file now we'll see how to apply an if else condition i'll go to template and here i'll write an if else condition so within the curly braces we need to give percentage and we can put a condition here if base and here i already have a variable add default route true if add default route then i will add ip route 
IP route 0 192.168.0.1 then we need to end the if condition I'll give end if save it and we'll try running this so now this is adding even the IP route configuration now in this variable if I change this to false will be removing that configuration from the generated text file these options we have seen earlier how to add the variables and how variable precedence works in Ansible you can even add these variables within the host wars or you can put it into the particular variable file of the host then it will try to override it now we'll try to generate configuration for multiple devices go to this file now instead of a static file i'll try to generate it for multiple devices inventory hostname underscore and save it now we can delete this file now this is generating with the device host name now here i'll create a separate group with r1 r2 and r3 we will try running this on three routers i can even use this particular group routers so that this will run on all these devices r3 r102 r1 r2 r101 and if you see the inventory structure under all I have switches and routers under routers I have CSR group and under CSR I have R3 and R102 under VIOS group I have R1 and R2 all these also I have explained earlier so here we will add r1 r2 and r3 into another group so that i can run this playbook against these three devices i'll call the group routers j2 demo then under host i'll give r1 r2 and r3 save it and here i'll change the host to routers j2 demo save it and here i'll give true now this will be running on all the three devices now for r1 the host name is r1 and so it will be changing for each host now if you want to customize this for r2 the route table i'll go to host wars and here i'll change add default route to false save it and we'll try running this so now this has changed only for r2 and we'll verify the configuration of r2 now so now this is not having the default route added in this way you can customize the variables in host level previously also we have seen the variable precedences now we'll see how to generate certain configurations based on device group i'll go to the playbook here first we'll try to print the groups save it i'll run the playbook here we'll be getting all the device 
group details r1 and r2 are part of aos group and here we can see another group which we created routers j2 demo and r3 is part of csr group for csr the interface naming is different for vaos it is gigabit 0 slash 0 and for csr it is gigabit 1 the management interface so we'll try to change the device configuration based on the device group i'll go to the jinja2 file here i will add another if condition i'll give if inventory host name in each iteration we'll be getting the inventory host name r1 r2 and r3 and if that particular inventory host name is there in the groups and we need to give the group name it is csr group then we will give interface gigabit ethernet one and we'll add the description csr management interface copy this now let us try running this now this is changing configuration only for r3 let us open r3 config now this is generating interface configuration for csr devices same way we can put we can even put else condition i'll give vaos loop in that case it is 0 slash 0 this also i'll change to vaos save it now we'll try running the playbook now if we open r1 config so this is having gigabit 0 slash 0 r2 also is part of vaos group but r3 is having gigabit ethernet 1 in this way you can customize generated text file based on device groups